All right, guys, we've been asked to create a tutorial for how to use the rule set wizard to extend a NPC sheet. And they've asked for it to be done for any rule set, but of course the NPC is very significantly from rule set to rule set. So it has to be a rule set specific extension, and we're going to use the 5e rule set for this to start with. So you can see here I've launched a, a campaign and I've opened up a goblin. Now I've also um, used this debug on command here, slash debug space on, that goes into the chat window. Um, I've just got a shortcut here to do it automatically. And what it does when you hover over any of these elements on the screen, um, information will appear up here in the top left hand corner. And what we want to look at is we want to carefully just place our mouse somewhere that's not over a actual control control being you know, any of the text or objects on the screen and we can see that this window is called NPC and the frame is record sheet. So that's where we're going to start our investigation. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to my rule sets directory. So it's under my uh, Smartworks Fancy Grounds rule sets. I'm going to find the 5e file. Now I've got 7-zip installed. 7-zip recognizes uh, the various Fantasy Grounds extensions as zip files and it will give us the option to automatically unpack them. If you don't have 7-zip, you can rename the files .zip and then unzip them and rename them back. But we're just going to go here and go 7-zip extract and we're just going to choose extract files because we're going to give it a slightly different path. The reason I'm not going to put it straight into uh, that recommended folder is because uh, Fantasy Grounds will use an unpacked rule set over a um, packed one um, in priority and we'll end up with orphaned rule sets uh, that don't update uh, but are affecting your game. So we're going to um, navigate through this. Now, now I know that the NPC record is actually in the campaign folder. <clears throat> if we wanted to find out where it was, we'd use find in files with the text editor. And we'll, we'll have a look at that in a sec. But we've got 5e campaign and we're going for the record NPC. So here we go, record NPC. If I open that up, uh, you've, I've opened this up in Notepad, but you can use uh, whatever text editor or uh, coding editor you want, like VS Code or VS Studio. Um, lots and lots of different uh, editors that you can use. But we can see here, we're we just going to collapse this down to two levels. We can see we've got a NPC window class, we've got a header window class, and then we've got combat, spell slots, and power. Now, these combat, spell slots, and power are fairly new uh, window classes, um, but we'll, we'll have a look at how they work shortly. What we really want to know, start with is this window class name equals NPC, and we're going to see that it has a number of elements. So it's it's got a frame, uh, it's got its initial size, it's got size limit, so it can't be sized smaller than this. Um, there's a script that runs uh, when this NPC record is when an NPC record is opened, and then sheet data is where we've got the actual data and things like that that live on this sheet. Now in this case, our sheet data contains a sub window with, with header. Um, we've got class NPC header. If we just go back here we can see NPC header you know, is a window class of its own. And then we've also got um, some content, uh, a content frame, and then we've got uh, a sub window here for main creature which can, includes NPC combat which is another window class and then we've also got um, another one here somewhere. We should have one for the text. Alright, it looks like um, that this uh, window class may be using um, the text. Now we've got one here called text. So a FT record. Um, this is a template. We'll look at that in a second. Um, but FT record named text, and we can see we've got our tabs. A tab definition has got two tabs. So we've got the icon. So the text on tabs is not text. It's actually a graphic 
uh, written uh, vertically. So tab main is an icon and tab other is an icon. And when you press tab main, uh, it will open, it will activate main creature. And main creature uh, is this sub window. And if you click on tab other, it will activate the sub window text, which is uh, this one here. Um, and it is a slightly different format, uh, FT record, but we'll uh, encounter that a bit more. So then we've got the rest of the records here that just wrap this outside sheet up. So that sheet is actually, the record that we've been looking at is actually this frame along the outside here, Oops, all the way down to the bottom here. Uh, it's got some elements like the resize object and uh, the scroll bar, uh, and then it's got a placeholder for the header information, it's got a placeholder for the combat information, and as we discussed, when we click on other, uh, we get this uh, formatted text field called uh, text. Alright, let's um, dig back into the XML briefly. Um, we can see here that we've got a merge equals join. And we're going to remember that because we're going to do some merging um, when we do our coding because we don't want to recreate all of those elements. We just want to add some extra tabs uh, onto this record. So we've got window class NPC header. If we expand that, um, margins are up. There's no content here, but we know that we've actually got uh, a stack of content. We've got a link, we've got a name. We've got a, a lock icon, we've got an ID icon, we've got a token, we've got a speech bubble, and we've got a closed record. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here, but it doesn't appear in that record. As you can see, it's pretty empty. So what that means is that this is probably in the rule set that this is layered upon, which is Core RPG. So let's go check that out. Back to our rule sets folder. Let's find Core RPG. And Core RPG is here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to unpack it. 7-zip, uh, extract files, and that's just to be unpacked. Let's go back up to the top here, find this folder, Core RPG, campaign, record NPC, okay, let's, we've got Window class NPC header. All right. Um, what is happening here? This looks like it's a new style where they're copying um, something else uh, from this. So what we're going to do is use find and file. So we're going to grab record header ID token. Control C, Control Find, Find in Files, and we're going to try and find this in the folder that we've just unpacked and we've got window class name okay interesting okay so our NPC header uses a copy of record header ID token record header ID token uses a copy of record header ID but let's open that one up okay so there's a couple of objects in here we've got the speak button and the token button are uh, part of this template, but we also have record header ID, record header ID. So just above it, we've got window class record header ID, and here we can see that we've got um, the script that runs on startup. We've got the link. We've got uh, the name and the non-ID'd name, we've got the ID'd icons, and we've got the button locked, the icon for when the record is locked. And then in the other record, we've got the speak and the token. So between this template and this template, uh, we've got enough information to fill that record. So that's a, uh, some fairly new changes that SmartWorks have been rolling out into the rule sets. Uh, in some ways, it um, takes a little bit longer to get used to and to find these records, um, but uh, using find and files you can work your way back and, and track all of these things down. So let's go back into Fantasy Grounds where we can see um, 
we've got an NPC record, we've got an NPC header record. The NPC header record is made up of two templates, one that supplies uh, the token and the chat, and the other record which contains the rest of the information, the link, the names, the lock records, the ID, and the close. Um, so on the next uh, video, we are going to start this up in our rule set wizard. Thanks very much.